magnify your name. We thank you for the opportunity to gather before you. You said in your word, for where two or three are gathered together in your name, that you will be there in their midst. We know you are here. As people are watching us around the world, we see signals from London, we see signals from Holland, we see signals from China. We know that you are here and you can heal the sick, you can set the captives free. We allow you, God, to do what only you can do. We allow you, God, to touch their lives and the hearts of people. We allow you, God, to be God by yourself. Blessed be thy name. Kali Mahali Masilabo Dosu Mira da dandea, lerete si caproto su candela blade. We worship you, we give you praise, we bless your name in Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to church, hallelujah. The voice you hear is the voice of my wife. Some of you saw her face because I pushed the camera for people to see her face. She's here with me, supporting me. And um, it's always good to have a great wife that believes in your assignment and supports you as much as uh, um, you push amen that's why the bible says for he will send us a helper suitable for us this is absolutely suitable for me and i thank god for her life thank you for all the support you've given to us all those that have followed us all this week we've been out of church now for close to eight weeks or nine weeks this is ninth week but the support has been tremendous people have been following every day and um, people have been praying for us, people have been giving, people have been supporting when we call. There, there we are on ATV as I speak. There are some people in the church trying to make sure that ATV is working. I think some of you are watching uh, through ATV, but I'm broadcasting to the social media. That's how we're still in touch, we're still intact. We have everybody still on ground pushing on and uh, doing what god has called us to do therefore we're grateful we're absolutely grateful and we say thank you thank you thank you for your love and um, um we, more people have come in. i don't even want to say people have walked away where are you going to so many people have come in to support us and we remain grateful to god in jesus name we'll be back tomorrow uh, remember on the talk um, it's on monday tuesday the communion on Wednesday, they talk on Thursday, then we discuss um, marriage. We discuss marriage on on Fridays. That's what we do every week. Today is a special day for us and um, for all of you that have your birthdays today, we say happy birthday. Uh, we see a whole lot of people. Or this week or next week, mm -hmm. even, we wish you uh, happy birthday. I've said this is the best time to have a birthday where you don't have to spend money and the issue is that you might not get gifts because nobody will come to your house to give you gifts but we celebrate jesus jesus mm -hmm. is still on the throne and god's people say amen. amen i see everybody here please it's sunday i just can't keep calling your names i see kati i know katrine chichi everybody i see you coming but let's do church when we gather on sunday we don't call your names i'm going to preach a, a, a message the lord dropped in my spirit and uh, and uh, and the and the message is what is wrong with me is that what i told you what is wrong with me what is wrong with me hallelujah what is wrong with me i'll read a scripture then i'll begin to i begin to speak and i begin to minister as grace is released this morning what is wrong with me okay the book of philippians chapter 3 Philippians chapter 3 from verse 10. Philippians, if you have your Bible, please turn to your Bible. If you are not using your phone to watch or whatever you're using. Now we are on ATV. So those of you that want to join us on ATV, please do join us on ATV. What is wrong with me? My goodness. Um, hey, <laughs> my wife said I want to hear this message. We're here already. Philippians chapter 3, from verse 10 to 15. That I may know him, this is Paul speaking, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death. Verse 11. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Verse 12. 
not as though I had already obtained, not as though I've already attained. Either we're already perfect. So it's I'm not perfect, but I'm pushing towards uh, attaining. But I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I'm apprehended of Christ. Brethren, I count not myself to have appreh apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark of the prize of the higher calling of God in Christ. Let us therefore be as many as be perfect, be thus minded. If anything, ye be otherwise minded. God shall reveal even this on to you. What is wrong with me? Spirit of the living God, I pray this morning that you will speak to that man. You will speak to that woman. You will speak to that boy. You will speak to that girl. And that the power of God will set the minds of people free. The power of God will do an unusual miracle, unwrapping mysteries and bringing healing to the body, spirit, and the mind. And God's people say, Amen. Amen. What is wrong with me? One of my greatest uh, idols in the Bible or star is Apostle Paul. We all know the story of Paul. Paul was a murderer as A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3 is as clear as that. So Paul this was a murderer. He murdered, he killed a lot of people. And everyone knew him around the country. Everyone knew him around the city that he was a, he was a Christ hater. I wouldn't call him a God hater because he believed what he was doing was of God. So he was a Christ hater and he persecuted the church. And the Bible referenced that the point that when they killed Stephen, he was the one holding their clothes, which means he was in absolute control of the death of Stephen. And he took letters from the, the high priest to go and persecute the church, even in Damascus. And you all know the story that on his way to Damascus, he had an encounter with God. But when we read this, this same Paul that had an encounter with God in the book of Acts of Apostles, now he's talking to the Philippians and he's saying this, and this I'm going to read from verse 11. He says, if by any means I might up attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I have already attained, either we are already perfect, this I'm not perfect, but I follow after, he says, I follow after that I might obtain. I follow after that I might obtain. Now, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? You see, the, 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 the crux of the matter is in the world that we live in, you come to find out, hear this, you come to find out that most people that tell their stories, most people you see, Christians, non-Christians, especially I don't care really about the non-Christians because we're dealing with the body of Christ now and by the grace of God, we hope that they get saved and they become believers. But we're talking about believers. We're talking about young people. We're talking about middle class people. We're talking about old people. We're talking about people that have been in the gospel for years. Every time you speak to a man or a woman that has been in the gospel, please, I want you to pay attention. Every time you hear them talk, they will always talk about the past. Most people, 95% of the people that talk about their lives always talk about the past. And there is no time you will see when Paul is testifying Every time Paul, you hear Paul talk about, hear what he says, hear what he says, uh, 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 verse 13, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, this one thing I do, mm -hmm. forgetting those things which are behind Amen. and reaching forth unto those things which are before, Amen. I press towards the mark oh, yeah. of the high calling. Mm -hmm. You see, what is wrong with us? Mm -hmm. You will hear believers. Every believer, you hear somebody talk. Mm -hmm. He's talking about who left him mm -hmm. five years ago. Mm -hmm. You hear a believer talk. You hear a believer say what he suffered last week. Mm -hmm. 
You hear believer talk. You hear believer say what is hap what happened to him yesterday. Mm -hmm. I list what is wrong with us. Mm -hmm. The point is that we have forgotten to understand that God is not bothered about what has happened in the past. Oh, yes. God is planning what will happen for you in the future. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, yeah. We are always talking about the past. Who hurt me? Who touched me? Mm -hmm. Who did this to me? Mm -hmm. Who did that to me? Mm -hmm. Who did this to me? Mm -hmm. But the truth about it, Paul says, I have forgotten those things that are behind. Mm -hmm. For you to be under captivity. Mm -hmm. For Satan to put you under captivity. Oh, yes. A husband, a wife will always remember, remind the husband mm -hmm. how you cheated me four years ago. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The man will tell the woman, see mm -hmm. what you did to me two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And every time we take the past and bring it to the future, mm -hmm. we suffer pain. Mm -hmm. The thing that is wrong with us is that we are always taking past tense. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing it to the future mm -hmm. because once the past begins to mix with the future, you don't have the peace of the future. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't hear me. Mm -hmm. You don't have the peace of the future. You can't even move forward. Mm -hmm. You can't even do greater things because your past will always want to overtake your future. Mm -hmm. Your past will always want to come in front of you. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you will see everybody giving reason why God cannot bless them. Mm -hmm. They are giving reason why their life is how it is. They are giving reason why this person left them. Mm -hmm. They are giving reason why they are stagnated. Mm -hmm. But Paul says, I listen, look at what he said there. Mm -hmm. He said, I count not myself to have apprehended, but one of these things I do. Mm -hmm. forgetting those things mm -hmm. which are behind yes. and reaching forth onto those things which are before. Mm -hmm. Paul, what are you forgetting? Mm -hmm. You're forgetting that you kill people? Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Look at, look at the measure of his offense. Mm -hmm. Look at what this man did to the church. Mm -hmm. Look at, the, look at the, the murder he committed. Mm -hmm. But when you come to Paul, Paul said, let us forget that story. Mm -hmm. You say, look, I have apprehended him. Mm -hmm. I have caught him. Mm -hmm. Just like some of you have caught Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, why are you not talking about apprehending what is in front of us? Mm -hmm. Why are we not talking about the future? Mm -hmm. Why are we not talking about how great our future will be? Mm -hmm. Why are we not talking about the blessing mm -hmm. that is ahead of us? Mm -hmm. Every time you see somebody, oh, this man hurts me. Mm -hmm. If you see what my husband did, mm -hmm. if you see what my brother did, mm -hmm. listen, have you seen accusation before? Close relatives have accused me of trying to kill them. Mm -hmm. But if I begin to think about that, how do I preach the gospel of Jesus? Mm -hmm. Because Satan will be calling me a murderer. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because that's the opinion of man. That's the opinion of somebody. Mm -hmm. So he wants me to reflect back to what they have said up against me, said about me. Mm -hmm. So many have said, you, you, you are using this, you are doing this, you did that, you are doing that. But listen, I leave those things that are behind. Mm -hmm. And I press towards the higher calling. Mm -hmm. Whether you have 12 children out of wedlock, mm -hmm. it is in the past. Mm -hmm. Whether some crazy man thinks you're not beautiful enough, mm -hmm. it's in the past. But it says, I press. I press. So what is wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I came to tell you that nothing is wrong with you. Oh, glory yeah. to God. Alleluia. There is Alleluia. nothing wrong with you. Alleluia. In the presence of God, you have a clean sheet. Mm -hmm. In the presence of God, you need to begin to think how great things you will do. Oh, you need to begin oh, to think God. nations Alleluia. that you are getting into. Alleluia. You need to begin to think the world before you that you are about to touch. Alleluia. People are about to hear about you. Mm -hmm. People, are, You don't hear what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. We need to press towards mm -hmm. the mark of the higher calling. Amen. That's where we are going to. Am I listening? Is somebody listening? to yes, me. Yes, Somebody yes. said nothing is wrong with me. Is wrong oh, with glory me. to God. Hallelujah. Nothing, is wrong, nothing is wrong with you. You will always think that something is wrong with you when you lose your vision. Mm. When you lose your vision, mm. you will think something is wrong with you because the vision is ahead of you. Mm. The past is behind you. Mm. Immediately you begin to look at the past, mm. you will lose vision. Mm. That's true. 
Amen. You, the dreams that you've had, the promises that God has made to you, once you begin to think how many abortions you committed, once you begin to think how many men slept with me, once you begin to think, ah, I don't, uh, oh, but I wanted to be an engineer, but last time they fired me. The last job, they said I'm not good enough. You are always looking behind you. The past is the past. Hey, listen, the, the past is gone. Oh, the, the past oh, yes. is the past. The past can never come back again. 2019 can never come back again. Are you listening to me? If 2019 is in the past, glory to God. We need to press. That's what he said, Paul. Press towards. Press. Lord, what is the new thing that I will do? Lord, what are we doing the next time? We, they are going to open up the lockdown. What am I doing after the lockdown? What is the new thing? They say, no, what are no, all things? The things are remaining the same. The things are not the same. You see? You see? You see? Uh, the world is opening. Mm -hmm. we, there was a time we all locked ourselves inside the room. Mm -hmm. All the world leaders. Mm -hmm. Fear. We locked. Now they are awake. Mm -hmm. Men of vision. Mm -hmm. They say, what are we locking ourselves for? Mm -hmm. Die is die. Who is going to die is going to die. Mm -hmm. Look at the measures that you will take. Look at the measures that you will take to stop death. Mm -hmm. As they are trying to open up church, people are saying, hey, we are pressing forward. Mm -hmm. As they're opening shop, people are saying, people, we are pressing forward. Mm -hmm. They have told you, put a mask. Mm -hmm. They have told you, sanitize your hand. Mm -hmm. They have looked at it and looked at it and said, this thing works. Mm -hmm. People are looking at the future, mm -hmm. trying to plan ahead. Mm -hmm. You are saying, hey, lockdown. Some are even getting bigger and fatter because they don't go to work. Mm -hmm. So it's better for them to sit at home. Mm -hmm. But Paul says, I forget. Look, this Corona, we're already deleting it all. Yes. Hey, listen, mm -hmm. we're already letting it pass. Mm -hmm. The story can never be the same. Nobody, look at people are out on the street. What are we talking well, about? Well, the past of fear is past. Mm -hmm. If you want to be afraid, you cannot move into the future. Mm -hmm. We leave those things that are behind. Am I making sense? Mm -hmm. if yes, the people say people are dying, but we found that the people are recovering too. Oh, yes. We found that the number of people that are recovering are more than the people that are dying. Oh, yes. So why are we hiding ourselves? Mm -hmm. Say, take precautions. You know why? These are leaders that are thinking of the future. Mm -hmm. The leaders are not staying in fear. Mm -hmm. And I just had the Minister of uh, Transport say, no, we're going to open the airlines. And we take, we take precautions. Mm -hmm. This is, this is future thinking. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. And you, you are still thinking of the husband that died four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Or, yes, four weeks, you can see one, but uh, my, my servant, Abraham, uh, Moses is dead. Mm -hmm. He said, move forward. Move forward. Think of the future. So most people always, always think of the past because they have lost your vision. You have lost your dream. You have lost the plans that God gave to you when you were young. The things that you had in your spirit that you are able to achieve. Why are you slacking back? Why are you thinking of the past and thinking because of the past? You can't move to the future. Listen to me. Nothing is wrong with you. The problem is if you still remain there, you have lost your vision. I ask you to dream again. Mm. I ask you to believe again. Mm. Oh, Christ ambassadors, we're coming up with a bank. I will announce to you once they announce their own announcement. I give you my own announcement. Mm. We are bringing innovations back. Mm. Things we've not done before. Mm. We are putting things together. We are planning. Mm. We had a meeting with the pastors yesterday. We are planning the future. Mm. We are planning how we do it when we come back. Mm. That is forward moving. We can't be thinking of, oh, Koro, Koro, Koro. Koro, we're about to delete Koro. And Koro is... Koro is entering the history books. Yes. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how when HIV came, people were HIV, HIV, HIV. Did we not move forward? Mm -hmm. Some people still have HIV, but we're moving. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. That's how they say uh, Ebola, everybody, but Ebola has come. Mm -hmm. But now Ebola is in the past. Mm -hmm. Even though Ebola is still killing, mm -hmm. but we are moving forward. Oh, yes. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes. Leaving those things that are behind. Mm -hmm. Moving forward. Mm -hmm. We are planning forward. Now, nothing is wrong with you. The problem is that most of us have lost our discipline. Mm. You understand? Mm. When you lose your discipline, everything around you will go wrong. When a man gets a salary mm. and carries it and gives his girlfriend, mm -hmm. something is wrong with you. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you have lost discipline. Mm -hmm. You understand? 
you begin to think that something is wrong with you when you lose your discipline. Mm -hmm. When you are the things that you're supposed to do, the ways you're supposed I've seen pastors lose their ministry. Mm -hmm. I've seen husbands lose their wives. Mm -hmm. I've seen wives lose their husbands because of what? Indiscipline. Once you become indisciplined, oh, my husband traveled, therefore, is it right for you to misbehave? No, you must keep your discipline. Because if you don't keep your discipline, then something is wrong with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Something is wrong with you. You used to serve God. You used to pray. You used to worship him. You used to give. All of a sudden, you lose your discipline. And once you lose your discipline, everything will begin to... Have you seen somebody lose a discipline? Imagine that you're driving on the street. You're driving on the street and you're drunk. Mm. You have lost your discipline. Mm. And that car enters the bush. Mm. If it doesn't kill you, it injures you. Or if it doesn't injure you, it damages your car. Mm. Right? Mm. Whom do you blame? Mm. Yourself. Because you've lost discipline. And once you lose discipline, you will lose you lose life, you lose sleep, you lose you lose your you lose your you lose everything. Yes. So you can't lose your discipline. Nothing is wrong with you. The problem is most people have lost discipline. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong with you. The problem is that you have been moved by other people's opinion. That's right. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong with you. So you're asking, what is wrong with me? What is the matter with me? Why am I life like this? Hey. You have lost your opinion and you're following other people's opinion. Mm. World is being dictated by what other people are saying. Mm -hmm. What other people think about you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what people, a lot of people even as they, hey, what will people say? Mm. What will people say? Oh, yes. What will people say? Yes. Listen, that, there is nothing wrong with you. The problem is your life is, big, is being dictated by what people are saying. Oh, yes. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Nothing is wrong with you. You have become a slave mm. to the opinion of others. Mm. Hey, a woman cannot preach. Mm. A woman cannot teach. Mm. Hey, a, a woman is the... Then you say, hey, they say I'm a woman. Hey, they say, if I come out now, you know church people. Church people will be, begin to say, I am carrying a... a uh, I'm not. I'm behaving like I'm the only one in the church. Mm. When you need to correct people, they'll say, "Look at her. She thinks she's the the the, the church belongs to her. Mm. Look at him who made you a god over us." Mm. Are you listening? That's what they told Moses. Yes. That's what they told Moses. They, Moses, what I told Moses, Moses' sister. Mm. Moses said, "Come, boy, boy, come." You remember when you were in the? He <laughs> <laughs> said, yeah, "Moses' sister told said, Moses, said, you remember when?" Uh, the uh, Pharaoh's mm. daughter wanted to kill the children. Mm. So yes, yes, my uh, sister. Uh -huh. I was the one that hid you. Mm. You understand? Mm. I was the one that hid you. I was the one that protected you. Without me, Moses, you are dead. Mm. Without me, you are dead. And if it were not for me, look at heaven, make sure you stayed uh, in mama's house mm. and you went back to Pharaoh. Now the, she tells Sam there. Now, but Moses, and all of a sudden he says, Moses, so you too now, you're not a prophet. Mm. You that I helped. Mm. You that I took care of. So you are not a prophet to me. Moses, are you the only prophet? I became a prophet before you were born, Moses. I became a, and all of a sudden, he's, she's talking. And Moses, the Bible, Moses did not say anything. I think Moses was captivated with what that girl is saying. I'm putting him, I'm putting him where his position is. God spoke from heaven. Shut up! Shut up! You want to compare yourself to Moses? A man that I speak to face to face? A man that I've anointed? You want to, listen, a lot of people are speaking to you and you're a prophet. A lot of people are trying to pull you down and you're a prophet. A lot of people are trying to say you are not worthy and you are highly anointed. And all of a sudden, people have not pursued God. People are unhappy. Mm. People are not doing what they're supposed to do mm. because of the opinion of other people. Nothing is wrong with you. Mm. Nothing is wrong with you. I came to announce to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing is wrong with, with you. Mm. I have an answer. Satan, Satan is afraid of you. Oh, yes. Satan is jealous of you. Mm. The world, the Bible says for the world, the earth is waiting for the manifestation 
of the sons of God, not of the crying of the men of God, not of the Moses cried unto the Lord, and the Lord said, Moses, why are you crying? Leave these people behind, hit this thing, let's go. I give you an assignment to take you to the promised land. Nothing is wrong with you. Number four, you have you are flying with chickens. Nothing is wrong with you. Are you listening to me? Well, I and my wife watched a movie yesterday, and we were watching the movie. The, this man loved his wife. He said, he, Me and my wife, we are partners. We're a team. We're a team. Then these three men were not married. They called him and said, Sit down, let us talk to you. He said, What? He said, What team? Your wife is a doctor. You are saying you're a team. You are just a follower. And this marriage thing, they were talking. My wife said, you see how people deceive people? The problem was the man was associating with, with chickens. Mm -hmm. yes. An eagle does not fly with chickens. Mm -hmm. And he said it again. An eagle does not fly with chickens. Mm -hmm. Imagine an eagle not flying, looking for corn. On the, on the ground, putting his head on the ground, oh, no. looking for what he will eat on the ground oh, because wrong. he's moving around with chickens. Mm. The eagles don't eat, they don't eat corn. Mm. Eagles eat blood. Mm. Eagles eat life. They eat chickens. Oh, yes. Not walking around That's with chickens. True. Are you listening to me? Mm. The problem is the people that you, are, you, are, you, are, you have made your friends, mm. the people you have associated with, they are, they are they are chickens. Mm. You need to think outside the box. Whether you're a wife, you can be married to a chicken. Mm. Whether you're a husband, you can be married with, to a chicken. Mm. When you want to fly, your wife will say, no, what kind of risk are you taking? You have to be very careful. There's nothing wrong in being careful, mm. but we need to touch the world. We need to move. We need to do great things. Mm. I, nothing is wrong with you. Mm. You are associating with chickens. All the people around you, they are talking about drinking of beer. Hey. Hey, listen. They are talking about drinking of beer. You see a man talking about, hey, look at that chick. Hey, look at that chick. Hey, Baba, this weekend we are going to groove. We are going to have a fun. We are going to be brine every week, brine. You are going to be brine every week? You are going to be having fun every week? Is that the kind of people you mix with? Is that the people that have become your, your levelers? A man that comes to the, your window to knock, say, "Do you have, uh, do you have uh, bath? Do you have bath there for me?" You have, is that the kind of friendship that you have? Big, the kind of friends you're mixing with people that are not thinking outside the box, people that are not thinking how they can make millions in this uh, uh, quarantine season. You are not people that are, that are not thinking how they can touch their wall mm -hmm. that the world took a break mm -hmm. so that they can so that they can meet up. You know, some of you, the world took a break mm. so that your time can, can meet up with the time that we are coming out. Mm. Are you listening to me? Mm. You cannot be mixing with chickens and mixing with people that are not going to where you're going. Mm. When you tell them, hey, I want to, I'm going to travel in there. They say, ah, what about the clothes that, how are you going to? I sat down and I, I was thinking yesterday. Mm. They have called all the footballers mm. to return to their clubs. Yes. You know what I was thinking? Mm. How did they get there? <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. I don't know. Some of you don't know football. Mm -hmm. But in England, they have opened. In Spain, they have opened. Mm -hmm. In Germany, they have opened. Mm -hmm. And all the players are back. Mm -hmm. Hear me now. Mm -hmm. And you have players in Africa. Mm -hmm. Liverpool is back. Mm -hmm. You have players that all came back to Africa mm -hmm. during the holiday during the shutdown. Mm -hmm. And my question is, how did they get there? How did they go back to their club side? Mm -hmm. I thought they said there's no plane flying. Mm -hmm. I thought they said, how do the Chinese still bring masks to us? Mm -hmm. Things are still happening. Movement is still taking place. Phone calls are still happening. Mm -hmm. Some people are sitting down and eating pap. Mm -hmm. Ah, this yeah, lockdown. Mm -hmm. They think that the world has come to a standstill mm -hmm. because of the people they are mixing with, mm -hmm. because of the level of the people they are playing with. Mm -hmm. I listened to, I told you on Friday we made some money here. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of money. But we are sitting inside this house and things were happening around us. Listen, if you fly with chickens, you will die in a pot. I say it again. If you fly with chickens, you will die in a pot. Oh, yes. Have you seen anybody inviting you? Let's eat a uh, uh, ego. Mm -mm. Have you seen mm -mm. anybody that catches an ego is a celebration? Mm. I, am I talking to somebody? Mm. You need to begin to sift people around you. Oh, yes. The people around you that don't want to go back to school. Mm. The people around you that don't want to get education. Mm -hmm. The people around you that don't want to prosper in their yes. lives. Mm -hmm. The people around you, all they're talking about is this new girl and that new babe and this new girl and that new girl and this new man. Mm -hmm. Look at this new man with six pack and look at... That's mm -hmm. all they're talking about. These are not the kind of people you're supposed to be associating with. Yes. You are talking about high flyers people that are saying listen uh, you can stay where you want to stay but i need to do something with my life mm -hmm. this is the time uh, there's one of my daughters in that church mm -hmm. one light complex that's always falling mm -hmm. god is always setting us free mm -hmm. i hear she's making thousands and millions in droves mm -hmm. she's hustling she's everywhere mm -hmm. everybody's shouting koro 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 she's looking for business that fits this coronavirus mm -hmm. we're talking about people that are moving to another level mm -hmm. while others are given a reason are you listening to me mm -hmm. there are students that have read three four five books mm -hmm. as i speak to you mm -hmm. Under this lockdown, mm -hmm. they have read books and read books. They are already writing things and moving to the next level. They are already, they, they already. I had my sister in law, my wife did not know. I had my sister in law talking two days ago, three, not even this. Uh, and she said this mm -hmm. she's writing an exam in England. Mm -hmm. And she said, I want to have a distinction. Mm -hmm. Is that what she said? Yes, yes. She said, I want to. Now, she's reading for an exam. They're going to be writing an exam during this mm -hmm. corona. She said, I want. I don't want to come at ordinary. Mm -hmm. I want to get a distinction. Mm -hmm. I want to get a distinction. Mm -hmm. I want a distinction. I listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. She's talking, people are talking about how do we write exam. She's saying, I want distinction. Mm -hmm. We are saying to you this morning, right? Nothing is wrong with you. Look at your friends around you. Mm -hmm. Look at your colleagues around you. Look at the people that are associating with you. Mm -hmm. They are the reason why you think something is wrong with you. Number five, nothing is wrong with you. You have believed a lie. Mm -hmm. The problem is you have what? You have believed a lie. The devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. You are sick today, we agree. But nothing is wrong with you. The devil has told you you will not be healed. You are going through financial issues. You have believed that your life will not change. Nothing is wrong with with you nothing is wrong with you i came to let you know this morning nothing is wrong with you you have sat down and you're 38 years and they're telling you that you cannot get married and you have believed a lie that when a man comes to you all you think ah this man oh and you already think look at me i am 38 i am 42 now who will want me like this you have believed a lie you have believed a lie you have believed a lie a prophet comes to a man and tells the man prepare your house you are about to die a prophet a prophet everybody knows in the whole town that this man is a prophet everybody knows in the whole town that god sent that man to him everybody in the town knows immediately the prophet when this man went to his knee and said you can't do this god what all of us will begin to call our friends and wish them happy birthday happy you know i will not see you next year i will not see you next year the man said fat god check all that i've done for you i'm not going anywhere mm -hmm. i will not go anywhere give me some more years oh, yes. the prophet came back and said hey we have never seen god do this God has added more years to your life. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yeah. It is easier for you to fold your hand and say, it is over. Mm -hmm. My life is over. It is because you have believed a lie. Mm -hmm. You can believe a lie from your husband. Mm -hmm. And your husband turns to you and says, you're a good-for-nothing woman. Mm -hmm. That is not, look at you. Who will marry you at this age? Mm -hmm. If I leave you, mm -hmm. you think anybody will marry you? Da! It's a liar. Mm -hmm. It's a liar. Some are looking for older women to marry. Mm -hmm. And it is you. Are you listening to me? Let him not lie to you that without me, you are nothing. Who told you? Who told him? Without you, without him, you are nothing. He's a lie. The devil is a liar. I said the devil is a, 
He's a liar. The devil is a liar. You have believed the lie. Because you have believed the lie, you are not moving to the next level. Because you have believed it, you have believed the lie, you are not expressing yourself. You are not doing what God has portioned for you to do. You have believed a lie. Nothing is wrong with you. The problem is you believe the lie. Hey, when I first came to this country, you understand? This query query thing did not stop now. That time we came nearly. Ah, this foreigners, me foreigner, in this same house, this land that God made. And I read in the Bible, he said, the earth is the Lord mm -hmm. and the fullness thereof on, and all that is within it. The earth is the Lord. He didn't say the earth is South Africans. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah, people are going to America. They are achieving. They are going to London. They are achieving. They are going, me, South Africa, I am here. Mm -hmm. You can, if you like, push me anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I cannot believe that nonsense. This earth belongs to the Lord. Mm -hmm. people, people are in China. People that are in, uh, are in America. The Ch America belongs to the Lord. Mm -hmm. People that are in Russia. Russia belongs to the Lord. Are you seeing how I am thinking? You cannot keep believing a lie. Mm -hmm. You cannot believe a lie. Satan will say you will not have a baby. Mm -hmm. That That's devil a is a liar. Mm -hmm. We had after 11, 12 years. That devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. You cannot sit in a lie. The devil will lie to you, your time is up. There's no way you will make millions, you will make money again. Ta! The devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The devil is a liar. You must hear me this afternoon. That God has a plan for you. Mm -hmm. His plan for you is of good and not of evil. Mm -hmm. He loves you so much. Mm -hmm. He loves you so much that the book he has written about you, he has not burnt it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't, didn't hear me. Hear. You didn't hear me. The chapter in the book of God, he has not deleted your name. Mm -hmm. Your name is still there. Mm -hmm. Your name is still there. Really? His, your name, he's waiting for you to say, Baba. He said, yes, yes, yes. These are my plans towards you. Mm -hmm. It's a plan of good, not of evil, to bring you to an expected end. Mm -hmm. You can't believe a lie. Yes. Ooh, you cannot believe a lie. Mm -hmm. You will still go to school. You will still graduate. Mm -hmm. You still have years to live. Mm -hmm. You will not believe a lie. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Finally, okay, maybe two more, then we'll close. Mm -hmm. Okay? Nothing is wrong with you. Mm -hmm. I say it again. Nothing is wrong with you. You are as beautiful as you've always been. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are fine. You see? Because men did not greet you for one month does not mean you have lost your fineness. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. You man, you are still a man. Mm -hmm. Because you've not had a job mm -hmm. does not mean that you're a useless man. Mm -hmm. No, 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 oh, no, yes. no, 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 no. Hear me, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Because you are pregnant out of wedlock mm -hmm. does not mean that God has abandoned you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And the day he, you said you were sorry, he had your cry and he forgave you. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That husband that left you is not your fault. Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. Every time you're praying God for a man, every time you're praying God for a, a, a marriage, Satan will remind you the one God sent to you, you lost him. He's a liar. He's a liar. He left because he doesn't belong to you. Mm -hmm. He left because he's not supposed to be near you. Mm -hmm. He left because he's not supposed to look after your children. Mm -hmm. Do not believe the lie. Do not believe the lie. That devil is a liar. liar. Mm -hmm. You are special in the eyes of God. God loves you so dearly mm -hmm. because you, love, you lost a loved one. Does not mean that you have become a sinner. Mm -hmm. When my wife got sick, people were accusing me. You are the one that caught can I cause my wife's sickness that I'm... You see, it's a lie of the devil to discourage me. Oh, yeah. It's a lie of the devil to for people to accuse me and do that. No, I love God crazy and God loves me. Oh, yes. In spite of everything, he loves me. I listen to what I'm saying. Yes. That's what I'm trying to let you know. You cannot believe the lie. The day you believe the lie, your life will change forever. Mm. Don't believe the lie. The way God created you is the way you are supposed to be. Mm. Are you listening to me? Mm. The way he made you, he made you to specifics mm. don't hate yourself mm -hmm. don't lock yourself in the room and want to commit suicide mm -hmm. that devil is Hello. a liar mm -hmm. that devil is a liar mm -hmm. if the man is not treating you well mm -hmm. that's his opinion mm -hmm. 
Oh, you didn't hear what I'm saying. Yes. That is his opinion. Let him treat you how he wants to treat you. That is his opinion. You're a beautiful woman in the eyes of God. Mm -hmm. The man's opinion is not God's opinion towards you. You are fearfully and wonderful made in the presence of God. Every time he sees you, he said, that's my special girl. Every time he sees you, he said, that's my special daughter. That's my special man. Don't believe the lie of the devil. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, nothing is wrong with you. You are where you are because you think someone owes you. No one owes you anything. I listen to what I'm saying. No one owes you anything. Most people feel that people owe them something. Nobody owes you anything to look after you. Nobody owes you anything to bless you. Nobody owes you anything to give you. People get angry when somebody does not give them anything. He's not owing you. Don't be angry that somebody you asked for 50 rand did not give to you. And you get angry and you get bitter. He does not owe you anything. A lot of people think people owe them. People owe you to greet you. People owe you to uh, uh, lie down for you. People owe you to respect you. They don't owe you nothing. I am telling you the gospel oh, truth. Yes. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you, yes, entitlement. You are not entitled to this. Thank you, my dear. Entitlement is my entitlement. It, it, it's, I, I am South African. I, 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 I am. No, who are you? Who owes? Nobody owes you anything. I pay for electricity here. Don't you pay for electricity? You think government owes you? Don't get electricity now. Don't buy. And you'll find out that you'll be in darkness. Nobody owes you anything. Are you listening to me? So a lot of people are thank you for that girl. She says, entitlement. There's people like, my father, I'm angry with my father. I'm angry with my mother. For what? Look at me. Look at my life. They don't owe you anything. They have brought you into this world. It's finished. You look after yourself. Mm -hmm. You push. Mm -hmm. You surprise them. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. No man owes you anything. Some women are still grumbling and still complaining. After 10 years of divorce, after five, you, you feel entitled to that man. If you see what that man did to me, which man? Somebody said, we all pay tax. <laughs> 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 you understand? We all pay tax. No man owes you. Oh, please hear what I'm saying. A lot of people are bitter. A lot of people are angry. My brother has money. Oh, God. Oh, God. My brother has money. He doesn't give me money. He doesn't owe you. He doesn't owe you anything. I went to Nigeria. I told the story. A young man saw me. He said, Ida P. Don't call me that. Call, call me Bishop. That's what they call me, my friends. It up, it up, it up. I said, ah, I hailed him. Too. I said, how are you? I said, I'm fine. He said, you see now? You see? You have forgotten me? I said, no. You know, I live in South Africa. He said, yes. He said, but now you have forgotten me. You don't send anything to me. Look at what you're doing to me. Look at how you... I said, ah. You know, I thought he was joking, but he became serious like he was accusing me now. Like I'm owing him. Is he the one... Does he know what winter is? In winter, I am outside. In summer, I'm outside. Does he understand for somebody to be in a foreign country and they are calling you names? And he's there waiting for me to give him money. Ah, this guy kept talking and kept talking and kept talking. I said, ah. you see, you see, God has blessed you now. Because God has blessed you, you have forgotten us. Because God has blessed you, you have forgotten me. I said, Baba, hey, but then now, uh, if God forgot you and remembered me, it means that God did not trust you. Yes, because if God trusted you, he will not forget you. Oh, you are living a life where God uh, forgot you. I said, boss, this one God gave to me. It's for me and my children and those that have the ability to help. If you're saying I've forgotten you, uh, go, go back to God. Uh, the God that remembered me. And he was so angry, but I needed to tell him to his face. Mm. He, won he felt he was entitled to small my money. How can he be entitled to my money? Did you give me your own money? Are you listening to me? Mm. People feel entitled. Nobody owes you. This government, even in South Africa, does not owe you. Anything they give us, we pay. Is that why we pay taxes? Mm -hmm. We pay taxes. Nothing is free. Oh. The only thing that is free is the air. 
Even now they are selling selling it in ventilation. You understand? <laughs> the people are buying equipment to for for air. Mm -hmm. God gave us free. Man is still charging us. The water God gave us is free from the river. Mm -hmm. They are still charging us. Mm -hmm. So nobody owes you anything. Get up and go and do something about your life. Nothing is wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong with you. Don't go and commit suicide because a young boy left you. Hey, you know he has broken my heart. Which heart did he break? Show me. Let show me the heart. Bring out the heart and show me which one, whether it's broken. Nothing is broken. You feel you're entitled to date him. You feel you, you are entitled to, to, to befriend him. Because no other man, nobody else can have him. I'm talking about boyfriend now. Nobody else can have him but you. It's not entitlement. If he says he doesn't want, he doesn't want, move on. Save your life from stress. Nothing is wrong with you. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory to, I told you I was going to preach to you today. Nobody owes anything. The reason why you are, why you are, why you are, you think something is wrong with you, finally, is because you think you have lost faith. It is because you have lost what? Faith. You have lost faith. No, faith is the evidence, substance of the things not seen, the evidence of the things hoped for. Faith is tomorrow. If you are here, it is the present. We are talking about the tomorrow. Well, if you lose faith. You can't get up in the morning. You see people go, oh, I am depressed. I am de you are you are compressed. You are not depressed. Somebody has compressed you. Mm -hmm. Your own is more than depression. What is depressing you? Mm -hmm. What is depressing you? I want to ask a question. Nothing is wrong with you. You're asking, what is wrong with me? What is nobody loves me? Nobody likes me. No, no, you have been compressed. Satan has compressed you. The reason why you are sitting on your bomb or you are lying in the room and closing yourself, leave me alone. That's some people that are depressed say, leave me alone. I don't want to come out. <laughs> you have lost faith. Pick up your faith again. Pick up your faith. You can lose faith. Have faith in God. Know that all things work it together for good mm -hmm. to them that love God. Yes, you might be going through pain. You might be going through difficulty. But pick up your faith again. Have faith in God. Have faith in yourself. That uh, my, uh, my wife knows that sometimes I shout. Either be, I hail myself. When Satan wants to compress me. I'm not talking about dep depression is for children. Depression is for children. I'm thinking of compression. He he makes you like sandwich. Mm. No space. Like he made Job. Mm. You understand? Oh. Job. He compressed Job. Put Job in a tight corner. Compressed him. Job. Job scream. He give it life. He take it. Glory be to God. He picked up his faith. You understand? Say, woman, you're talking like a foolish woman. Mm. He picked up his faith. I want to tell you this morning. Nothing is wrong with you. Oh, yes. Nothing is wrong with you. Mm -hmm. You have lost faith in God. Mm -hmm. You have lost faith in yourself. I came as a servant of God to minister to you. Pick up your faith again. What God has planned to you, it for you, it will come to pass. Oh, yes. The dreams that you have, it will come to pass. Mm -hmm. The grace that is available in you is still inside of you. Oh, Pick yes. up your faith. Pick up that dream again. Pick up that business again. Believe again. You might have gone through difficulties, but that's not the end of the war. Mandela was in prison for 27 years. He believed that God would still bring him out and they made him a president. After 27 years, pick up your faith again. Nothing is wrong with you. Nothing is wrong. Tell your children in the house, tell them, that young girl that, is, that thinks she's not beautiful enough, that young boy that thinks he cannot go back to school, that his friends that are smoking ganja and smoking, a, a, what are they smoking? Yope. Mm -hmm. Tell him, no, wake up. Pick up your faith and go back to school. You young girl that think the life is over because you got pregnant and the man walked away, pick up. Have faith again Have faith. that God is about to do something with your baby oh, and to yes. do something with you. Pick up your faith and say, I'm about to do something new with my life. Mm -hmm. Pick up. Mm -hmm. 
Pick up your faith again. God is not true with you. God is not finished with you. His plans for you is of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. We have not gotten to the end of the road yet. Jesus is still on the throne. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm excited this morning. Amen. Nothing is wrong with you. Mm. Listen, before I preach to you, I preach to myself. Mm. We all go through these conflicts. Mm -hmm. We all go through these conflicts. You are sitting, you want to pay bills. Mm. No money. They call me and we want to close ATV. You think it's easy for me to hear after seven years? Mm. They want to close ATV. The people that tight don't tight anymore. Mm. The people that give don't give anymore. Mm. Church people, workers are not being paid. Mm -hmm. You think it's easy for me to run a ministry like this? Mm -hmm. One of the biggest in Kempton Park. Mm -hmm. The pressure is on me. Mm -hmm. What are you? I'm preaching. God tells me nothing is wrong with you, boy. Mm -hmm. I still called you to touch the world. Mm -hmm. I still called you to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. I still called you to heal the sick. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong with you. Mm -hmm. They took our church after we had paid for almost five million. Mm -hmm. They closed it down. Mm -hmm. You come and you want to beat yourself. You come home, your wife is not well. Mm -hmm. And the devil says, have you seen? Hey, nothing is wrong with you. God is not true with us. Oh, we yes. must keep believing God for miracles. Mm -hmm. We must keep believing God to do great things with us. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong with you. That's the message he gave to me this morning for you. Mm -hmm. I want to pray for that man. I want to pray for that woman that is about to throw in the towel. The one that is saying, no, I can't do this no more. The one that is saying, the pressure is too much for me. I want to pray for you. There is a God in heaven that rules in the affairs of man. Mm -hmm. You have lost hope. You have lost hope. Mm -hmm. You are saying, no, we can't allow the devil to win. No, 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 no. Come back to the, come back, come back, come back, come back. Believe again. Let your marriage be healed again. Let your home be, don't give in, don't throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. No, don't do that. Don't do that. His plan for you is still strong. He still wants to do better things with you. Be strong. Lift up your head. Don't believe the lie of the devil. Don't sit down and let him talk to you in English and in, in Swahili. That devil is a liar. Any language, the devil can lie in every language. Mm. Oh, you miss me there. The devil can lie in every language. I say it again. The devil can lie in every language. He's a liar. We don't listen to him. Nothing is wrong with you. Nothing. Nothing is wrong with you. Nothing, even if you are an orphan, nothing is wrong with you. Even if your parents abandoned you, nothing is wrong with you. Even if your family members have accused you, nothing is wrong with you. Even if they've given up on you, nothing is wrong with you. Nothing. That's what the Spirit of the Lord says. I should let you know. Nothing. 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 Nothing is wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with you. He's still on the throne. Father, I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister. I pray for my daughter. I pray for my son. I pray for my son. Zegle, zegle, grutama halatalaya. That devil, come on, let them go. Let their mind go. Let their spirit go. Let their spirit rise again. Let the dream come alive again. Nothing is wrong with you, my brother. Nothing is wrong with you, my daughter. Nothing is wrong with you, my son. Nothing is wrong with you, my friend. Nothing is wrong with you. That devil is a liar. He keeps lying. He keeps lying. You must stop believing his lie. Stop mixing with people that will agree with the lie of the devil. That devil. Is a liar. Father, we thank you this morning. Bring healing to that heart. Bring healing to that body. Bring healing to that mind. Let there be a revolution in the spirit of my brother and my sister. Let them, be a, let them begin to believe again. Let them begin to believe again. Let them begin to believe again. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're not going anywhere. Satan, we're not going anywhere. We're here. We're here. We're not dying. Nothing is taking us out. We're going to fulfill the plan. And the will of God in our lives. And God's people say, Amen. 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 I pray for the sick this morning. Amen. Wherever you are and you're sick in your body, nothing is wrong with you. Oh, yes. God still loves you. Amen. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yes. I cause cancer. I cause diabetes. I cause infections. I cause coronavirus. 
get out of that body. In the name of Jesus, I cause asthma. I cause deafness. I cause blindness. I cause every form of affliction. Get out of that body. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be made whole. I command you to be healed. I command you to be set free. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I pray wellness from your head to your toe. Mm. Be made whole mm. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And God's people say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing, Nothing is, wrong. is wrong with you. Glory. I feel excited in my spirit. Nothing is wrong with you. Time is going. We don't. We hope they don't cut off our. We've gone over an hour now. We want to receive our offering and our tithes. Uh, I'm going to pray. The Lord told me last night to pray for tithers, those that are going to be giving their tithes to God this week. Already, people have already started blessing the Lord with their tithes, and those that are going to be giving their offerings. Uh, so, if you're a tither, you just stretch your hand towards me. If you're giving God your tithe, please the offering, the church um, account details will be on your screen there for you to tithe, for you to give an offering. You must give an offering. This is church. Look at, I'm sweating already. We're preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Even if we're in church, in, uh, in our church there or here, the message is for the spirit. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're preaching to the spirit of man. And it is the spirit of man that worships Jesus. And, we, and he said, if you've, if you've had the word, you're supposed to give an offering. And because you're a member of our great assembly, we ask that you tithe, and uh, as we do, okay, the, the address, the tithe details, I'm trying to hold it up here. The church address there is there. You need to give an offering, so lift up your offering and lift up your tithe. For those of you that are going to be doing transfers, please stretch your hands. Let me pray for your tithe. He said he will rebuke the devourer for us. Yeah. And he said he will open up the windows of heaven. Oh, yes. And he promised us that, 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 that once we give, the men will give to our bosom. Mm -hmm. These are the promises of God. For those of you that are tithing, those of you that are giving, now in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. I release the grace, mm -hmm. the grace of protection, mm -hmm. the grace of increase, mm -hmm. the grace of rebuking the devourer for you. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I command a commanded blessing. Yes. Open heavens. He said, prove me and see. If I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you a blessing, I command the outpouring of the blessing of God mm -hmm. over your family, over your finances, over your business mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And those of you that are giving, I pray that the Lord will bless the works of your hands. Yeah. I pray that the Lord will bless your economy. Yeah. I pray that the Lord will open up unusual doors for you. Yeah. I call you blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. I give too, so I'm excited about giving to God. Give the Lord my tithe. Give the Lord my offering. We 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 almost done. I want to. You're here this morning. And you've not accepted Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. You've been hearing the message, but the devil has depressed you, compressed you. Satan has just had your case. But we want you to accept Jesus. It is only him that can help you. It is him that can lead you through this difficult time. Yes. So you need Jesus to come into your heart. And I want you to pray this prayer with me. I know I want you to pray this prayer with me. While those of you that are praying with us, please, we want you to begin to share this message and press the like button. Please, excuse me. Please keep sharing the message. We want everybody to share so that your friends can hear this life lifting word and be strong in their faith. Father, we pray for that one. Those of you that need that Jesus in your heart, please pray this prayer after me. Please repeat it. Yes, yes, yes. Libro Sulabrada. As some of you are giving, you are sending in your friends, you are sending your tithes. And those of you that need Christ in your heart, Jesus loves you. His love for you is just unbelievable. His love for you is, is hundredfold. Father, I want to repeat them. Say, Lord Jesus. Yes, say it after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I am a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Come into my heart. I receive you now as my Lord and as my Savior. 
Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. God just healed somebody with a problem in your chest. There's a pain in your chest. The power of God just melted it. It doesn't matter whether it's a blockage. I don't know what it is. The power of the Lord just melted it. The power of God just healed. I see somebody that has a, it's like a whitlow, something in your thumb. Something in your thumb that says sore in your thumb and it's very painful. You've done everything, it's drying up. You've done everything, but it's not going. It's drying up. The power of Jesus is bringing healing. It's bringing healing. I command that hand to be healed in the name of Jesus. There are miracles everywhere. Somebody's having a migraine. There's a pain just in front of your head that goes just the side, on the side of your head. There is an excruciating pain. It's like a nerve has a problem there. Jesus heals it. Jesus heals it. The power of Jesus heals you. It heals you. Receive your miracle. There is somebody you are going for an appointment this week. They've invited you for an appointment. Father, I pray for favor. The enemy wants to stop that appointment. The enemy wants to stop that meeting, that blessing of the meeting. But I capture the capturer this morning and I re Puke him and say he will never see your face or touch your favor. Go and receive the favor of God in Jesus' name. There's a young child that is feeling very sick. You are feeling very sick and the, your parents are thinking of taking that child to the hospital. I want to tell you, wait, wait till tomorrow morning. It is not normal. The sickness is not normal. Wait till tomorrow. By tomorrow, your child will be running around. Be healed. I command that child, the power of death pointing that child go in the name of jesus there are miracles everywhere god is healing somebody you've had a toothache the toothache that is so painful there's going to come an eyes on it the power of the lord is healing it be healed be healed be healed Zuza Rima celebra. i send back every arrow every arrow of affliction every arrow of pain pointing towards you and return it back to the sender. Go in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you again. I want to appreciate all those in the battle acts. You know, sometimes the love people show for, for, for me is I can't understand it. Some people have been so faithful, you know, some have been calling. How are you doing? Are you okay, daddy? How are you managing daddy? And those in the battle acts, I want to say thank you. It is not an easy thing in this difficult time. Those of you in the battle acts that are still sending in your seed and still just being a blessing to me and my wife, we are grateful. We've been in the house for 40 something days now, almost 50 something days. We've not been able to go to work. Even my job in super sports has been closed. You know, we can't come to the office. So all of you that have been a blessing to me, and my family, I do not know how to thank you enough. We are grateful to you. May God bless you richly and continue to increase you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 For those of you that are still interested in sowing into our lives, please call the church office. They will give you details. And we want to say we love you. May God keep you. I pray that this week that we're going in will be a blessed week for you. You shall not experience death. You shall not experience accident. Evil will not come near your dwelling place. The love of God will overflow you and your family. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and God's people say, Amen. 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 God bless you. You want to pray? God bless you and may the hand of God continue to rest on you until we see you tomorrow. Don't worry, 8 o'clock. It's not, yeah, we'll see you. We, are, we have moved our talk to 8 o'clock in the evening. Yes. So please join us every 8 o'clock. People have gone to work and back, and then we're going to uh, uh, we're going to continue it tomorrow evening Monday. God bless you. Amen. We will see you tomorrow. Amen. 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 Please keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. I'm watching you. I'm watching those of you that are sharing. I'm what? Thank you, thank you. I'm seeing your pictures. I'm seeing your pictures showing. Keep sharing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Share, share, share. Wow. Thank you, thank you. All right. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.
God bless you. Oh, what a powerful God. Oh, matali, tali, tala, tala, tala. Oh, thank you for the messages. Messages are rolling in. Thank you, for, Father, for the message. Wow. Mm -hmm. Quite a profound message. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. We give glory. Lord, uh, the Lord, come from me. Okay, now, amen. Thank you, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Kanye, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I see uh, Pat, my daughter Pat is here. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sophie, thank you for the word in season. Mm -hmm. Raisa, Raisa, enjoyed our message today. <laughs> Oh, nothing is wrong with you, I'm telling you. Nothing is wrong with that devil. Is a, is a cucumber. <laughs> Satan is a cucumber. <laughs> nothing is wrong with you. Thank you for messages that are just coming in. <laughs> I'm just flying. Wonderful. And thank you, Zef and the wife. Uh, thank you, Chipo. Thank you, uh, Crystal. Blessing. Wow, well, Gigi, Flores, Omoka. Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you and bye-bye.